concert but uh, I will not be checking this out I'm gonna head over to uh, Sean and Tisha's and uh, hang out with them and their cats for New Year's so it should be a pretty exciting time uh, good company and good food and uh, I will miss the festivities here at Raffles though it looks like a pretty amazing show they're getting ready to put on so uh, hope everyone has fun without me <laughs> oh, no. looks good looks good Hello? Hello. That looks good. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> All right, good morning. Uh, sitting here at Mocha Brothers, getting ready to have my breakfast. It is New Year's Eve, so it is the last day of 2016. And um, today I will be uh, talking about my goals and um, how I wrap up this year and how I look at the new year. Um, I try to do this every single year, not make a video necessarily, this is something new, but um, every time I move into the new year I have this moment of reflection and I usually jot down some goals um, and I'll share with you kind of my structured approach to that. Uh, it, it helps me. Um, I accomplished quite a bit this year and um, I think part of the reason I did that is because I had a very clear um, opinion of what I wanted to do for the year. Okay. Thank you. The coffee just got here. Alright, so I've been talking about how I break down my previous year and how I look forward to a new year. Um, I've got notes on my iPad and I pretty much do this every year. Um, you know, some years is more specific, some years uh, I don't get around to it till you know, February sometimes. Uh, this year I actually uh, did this on December 27th and I wrote everything out. And then I've been thinking about things and how I wanted to communicate that. And um, committing it to live video uh, seems to be a good way to hold myself accountable. So, I break it out into four buckets. Uh, I look at my accomplishments and then I think about the memories that I created. Uh, during that year. And then I look at my opportunities or my failures from that year. And then the last part is the most important part is the goal setting for 2017. And when I look back, work was definitely something that I can put as an accomplishment. Um, you know, where I work, uh, we've accomplished a lot. We've gotten a lot of really great results and we've done it the right way. I won't go too much into work. Traveling, that was a goal that I had uh, the, pre the previous year was to move abroad and to travel. Uh, I, I did that, not as much as I would like. However, I rolled two and a half weeks of unused vacation into 2017 from 2016, meaning I didn't take a whole lot of time off. Um, writing. So as some of you may know, that's been my passion since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to be a writer. 
I dabbled in it here or there. Many years ago, I sold a screenplay that never got produced. I made a goal that I was going to write a novel. My wife and kids were not living in China all of last, pretty much all of last year. I was by myself for a year in China, and uh, which meant I had a lot of free time. And I told myself that I would dedicate myself to getting back to my writing. And I did that. Uh, I completed one novel. Uh, well, when I say completed, beginning, middle, end, it's done. Now I'm editing, rewriting. You know, it's a 100,000 word manuscript. That's a lot of writing. Uh, so I feel really good about that. Fitness was one of my goals in 2016. Uh, I had an up and down <laughs> relationship to fitness this year. Since June, I have dropped uh, 26 pounds. Uh, this last two weeks, I've probably gained four or five of that back because I've been sick and I have not been to the gym, unfortunately. Um, but 20 pound net weight loss in uh, you know six or seven months, uh, pretty proud of myself. And you know, the last one, uh, looking back on an accomplishment, is I made a lot of new friends. So, you know, being in China, I've been blessed with uh, getting the opportunity to meet some really great people and to spend some quality time uh, building new friendships. And that's something I haven't done probably since childhood, quite frankly. Um, I'm just going to cut right now to some pictures of travels, some of those friends, some of the fitness, um, just to give you guys a look at some of the best uh, memories of last year. short, uh, things that I had maybe set out to do that I did not accomplish. And I got writing on here, so I know that I just talked about writing as an accomplishment, and I believe that. Book one, book two, but they're not done. Uh, so to me that's still an opportunity. That's somewhere that I fell short. Uh, I made a goal that I would get the first one done. Uh, you know, staying connected to my extended family. Uh, it's something I have not done. My sister, my mom, uh, my wife's mom, dad, and then the other opportunity that I'm a little disappointed with, again, uh, I talked about it as a positive, but I uh, was traveling. You know, here I thought I'd, I was in Asia, I'm living in China, uh, I have all these cool countries that are just a short plane ride away, and I really did not make it a priority to see a lot of this country um, or the surrounding countries. So, you know, there are many reasons why, and I won't get into it, but I'm going to do better this year. Now, going to goals for 2017. Number one, get the first book done before summer. So just done, edited, cover design, everything done. Second book, written before summer. So first book completely done, second book, first draft done. Third book, which I have started, I didn't show it to you, but I have started, only about 40 pages into that. I want that done, rough draft by the fall. I want to keep the travel blog that I have started uh, up and running. Uh, get this vlog up and going. I want to write a screenplay again. Again, I've, I've written four or five, three or four, sorry. Sold one, but that was many, many, many years ago, 2002 or three, I think. So I want to write a small scale screenplay that um, I can actually shoot even if nobody sees it even if it doesn't get distributed to even, you know, what do they call them, um, like indie festivals. Uh, who cares? But I want to make a movie. I want to travel once per month. I want to start meditating again. So this is goal nine. And number 10 kind of goes hand in hand with meditation. 
2014, 2015, I was really into yoga. Uh, Sophia and Olivia, my daughters, we would go pretty much every night, at least five nights a week, uh, to a really great yoga studio. I don't know. I really can't think of anything more to say. I feel like I've been talking for 20 straight minutes, which I probably have. So this is probably the boringest vlog ever. And I may get zero viewers. I really don't care. This is for me. So hopefully some of you, you meaning probably no one, um, will enjoy some of this. But if not, honestly, this is for me. This is, uh, this is goal setting in action. Cut. All right, so I'm heading over to Sean and Tish's. It's New Year's Eve, uh, grabbed a bottle of wine. Um, I'm just gonna hang out, keep it mellow. They have uh, some, I guess, appetizers and probably just sit around and chat and have a few drinks and keep it mellow. Um, got some food carts down here behind me. I'm gonna show you guys, it's always interesting. Uh, New Year's Eve, there's a lot of people out tonight, as you can see behind me. A lot of people out and about here. So New Year's here, you know, there's Chinese New Year's and then there's calendar New Year and uh, both of them are pretty big. So uh, anyhow, I'm gonna show you a little bit of these food cards and then head into Sean and Tisha's. Thank you. 